10 awesome days of WPT 500 online play finally culminated in our WPT 500 main event champion and we also have our super winner of our Super 50. Now a grand total of 2,422 registered entries into our $530 buy-in WPT 500 main event meant that our total prize pool soared to an incredible $1,211,000. Only 361 made it through to day two and it took seven and a half hours of play to whittle it down to our final nine. It was a fast paced final table with only two and a half hours of action, meaning an early night for all. Well, I put up a good fight, but he eventually bowed out in third place for $84,000. And this left our final pair, Kiwi Dylan Rowe and our start of the day chip leader, Andrew Novak heads up. The last hand of the night saw Novak raise all in with Jack Nine for his seven and a half big blinds, but it was no match for Rowe's King Four suited. Novak walks away with a healthy bankroll booster of $123,254 in second place, meaning that Dylan Rowe cinches the title and $181,544. Running simultaneously to our main event was our $55 buy-in Super 50, which drew in an astonishing 6,589 total entries, which therefore meant the ROI on this event was huge, with the top four places each being paid five-figure sums. Brazilian Fabiano Kowalski secured the first of these five-figure payouts as he finished in fourth place, but it was fellow Brazilian Michael Jardim who went even further, winning the Super 50 title and $45,000. But tonight, our attention turns to our $1 million guaranteed WPT 500 knockout main event and our Super 50 knockout. Day 1D for both of those starts this evening at 8 p.m. A total of eight starting flights before day two commences on Monday the 22nd. But if a high roller is more your speed, then oh, do we have a treat for you tonight. As at 7 p.m. we have a $5,200 high roller, and then at 9 p.m. we have a $1,000 buy-in high roller turbo. Congratulations once again to our newest WPT 500 champion, Dylan Rowe. Good luck to all playing tonight and this weekend, and I shall see you on Monday.